So hello, this video is the getting started session. This getting started is structured into five major exercises applied to plant phenotyping. This is the theme of EPPN 2023. Exercises one and two explain how to install Napari and to get started with the Napari software. Exercises three to five will show you how to create a plugin a widget and how to develop a widget. These exercises will teach you how to create and develop a Napadi widget. The main objective is to show you how easy it is to change the source code of a widget using already written Python code and a little Python basics without needing any in-depth in knowledge of computer science. So. You are looking at the web page, the practical work page dedicated to this getting started session. You have the five exercises. The last uh, extra exercise explains how to deploy the plugin on the Napoli Hub public page. On this web page, you will find the prerequisite before doing exercises. As a prerequisite, uh, you have installed Python with Conda. Napari as a software and as a Python library. You have also installed the Visual Studio code to manipulate code and Git to put your source code on your GitHub. Below are a few links to take your third. There's a link that gives you comprehensive information on installing Napari and developing a plugin. There is a link to the library of all Napari plugins. Finally, there are links to the forum where you can interact with the Napari community and important interaction if you meet a problem somewhere. At the bottom of the page, you will find the author and the other contributors to this session. So let's start with the exercise one, which involves installing Napari into two forms bundle application and Python package. So Napari in bundle application form can be installed from this link. This link takes you to a list of Napari download links. The bundle application can be installed on Mac, Linux, and Windows. Once you have downloaded the link, you can install it easily by following the installation instruction carefully. Napari in a Python package form requires a terminal and an internet connection. Installation is a two-stage process. First, you need to create a virtual environment with Conda by writing this command. This virtual environment isolates the Napari installation from the current environment. This virtual environment is necessary because Napari only installed on a three 0.9 version of Python. After creating the virtual environment, enter this environment and install Napari with the pipe command. When the installation is complete, launch Napari by simply typing Napari in your virtual environment. So let's move on to the exercise two. In this exercise, we are going to take Napari in the hand as a bundle application and use a Napari plugin. In this tutorial, we are going to study this image of an aphid here. We want to know the number of aphids and the surface area of the aphids. This research requires a good knowledge of computer vision, but Napari makes it easy. So first of all, open Napari, install the DevBio Napari plugin, and then restart the software. In the software, drag the image into the Napari window, invert the colors by going to Tools, Image Math, Invert Image, then apply segmentation using the Ghost Otsu method, go to Tools, Utilities, Assistant, NA, Label, and Operation Ghost Otsu Labeling. Finally, retrieve your quantitative data obtained from the mask by going to Tools, measurement tables, measurement. Now you have a table giving you 
information about the number of AFIs and their surface area. So exercise two was a simple introduction to Napari and a plugin. In the following exercises, we will build and develop a plugin. We will propose a plugin that calculates leaf area using several classic image fee holding method. These methods will be present in a widget. First of all, in exercise three, we are going to make a blank plugin. Designing a plugin generally requires advanced programming skills. Fortunately, the Napari community offers a command to simplify plugin design. This tool is aimed specifically at programming beginners. This command is cookie cutter associated with a Napari directory. So here. Cookie cutter is a command for creating Python project. Here, the Python project is a directory containing the structure of the Napari plugin. This command will ask two sets of questions. One set of questions about the form of the plugin, I mean the author, GitHub information, and the description of the plugin, for example. If you want to share your plugin, you must have a GitHub account beforehand. Your GitHub information will be requested in the uh, questions. Another set of questions concern the content of the plugin, whether or not it includes a widget, a reader, or a writer, for example. So before designing the plugin, I ask you to go to the virtual environment where nobody is located as a Python package, install cookie cutter with the pipe command, and then run this command. You have before you a set of questions I will answer developer name, email, for the GitHub username. For the GitHub username, you need to have a GitHub account, of course. This GitHub username is useful if you want to upload the plugin directory to your GitHub account. Next, enter the name of the plugin and the GitHub URL of the directory. Next, enter the name of the module, the name that will be displayed publicly and a description of your plugin. The description is important because it will tell users what your plugin does. In this case, we are talking about offering several segmentation three holes. Next, the command asks us some technical questions about the plugin. This is the reader. The command asks us if we want to integrate any particular code for the MP data. I say no because we simply want a widget to integrate our three holding method. This is the writer. The command asks us if we want to integrate any particular code for the output data. I say no. This is sample data. The command asks us if we want to include data in the plugin that is accessible to everyone. I said no. This is the widget. The command asks us if we want to include code for processing images. I say Yes, because I want to include freeholding method for segmenting images. This is the git tag. The command asks us if we want to use a git tag to mark plugin versions. I say no. Here, installing a pre commit. I say no. This is the license. So the command asks us what type of license we want to attach to the plugin. For this uh, teaching list session, I choose BSD free, which is a license that guarantees the reuse of the code or a part of the code by other users. At the end, the command will generate a plugin with a simple and blank structure. This structure is deployed in front of you. So in this structure, you will find the plugin script in the Napari freeholds folder and the technical scripts. To start thing with this directory, go to VS Code, then open the plugin directory. Once open, install the plugin locally on your machine using the pipe command here. Here we have generated a directory for the plugin and installed it locally. In the next exercise, we are going to integrate three holding method into this plugin. This is exercise four.
Here, we are going to integrate a Python code that calculates leaf area using two free holding methods, Otsu and Li. This calculation will be applied to the image below. The free holding Python code is presented in a notebook uh, sheet here. In this notebook, we take an image as the input uh, here and then return the leaf area with pixel. In the algorithm, freeholding is applied to the image to attempt the leaves in white and the background in black. Here. Then we count the total number of whites to give the leaf area in pixels. The aim of the exercise is to integrate this code into the plugin into the form of WinJet. Before we get to exercise, let's talk about the WinJet on Napari. To add a WinJet to Napari, you interact with four files. WinJet.py, which contains the WinJet codes. init.py contains all the functions needed to initialize modules and control import. Napari.yaml contains all the metadata and configuration information. And setup.cfg contains all package metadata for setup tools. So in winjet.py, we integrate our leaf area code into a function. We then connect this function to the napari.yml manifest so that the winjet is visible in the user interface. We mention uh, this function in init.py so that the function is called if the napari freehold module is imported somewhere in the code. And we specify all the necessary Python packages that are used in the leaf area code. Once the widget is visible on the user interface, it needs to be given a shape. There are many libraries designed to build a graphical user interface, for example, TekaInter or PyQt5. On Napari, PyQt5 is highly recommended for building a graphic user interface. This advice is generally aimed at advanced programmers. The Napari community has created a magic GUI library to shorten the process of creating a graphic user interface. Magic GUI is a general abstraction layer on graphic user interface toolkit backends like Qt, with an emphasis on mapping Python types to widgets. This library is aimed at programming novices. It makes building WinJet to represent function input easy. Below is a list of parameters you can use to present your WinJet to the users. In WinJet.py, we integrate the Python code into a function. This function has an input and an output. For example, in the case of a segmentation, the input is an image and the output is a mask. The input include several types of data presented in an array form. The input includes several types of data presented in array form. These data types are elements offered by the Napari point types library. These elements are images, mask, points, shapes, or vectors, for example. For output, the data is presented in a layer that will be displayed in the Napari interface. A uh, layer can be given for binary data, RGB images, point shapes, and surfaces, for example. So we have talked about the widget, magic GUI, and input and IP data. So let's move on to the exercise. The exercise is divided into six short exercises. First of all, we are in the widget.py script. We are going to create two widgets, a widget for freeholding and a widget for calculating leaf area. For freeholding, we create a freehold f function with two inputs, the name of the freehold and the RGB images. This, we specify that the output of this function is a binary image. From the magic GUI library, we take the magic factory function to generate a user interface for the widget. The user interface features a run button and a menu that displays the Otsu and Li uh, freeholds. 
the major factory function is placed as a decorator on the uh, freehold function. To calculate the leaf area, we create a leaf area function with one input, the binary mask. The binary mask comes directly from the layer. We then use napari.layers.labels. The user interface provides a line of text to display the leaf area. In exercise two, we connect our uh, two functions to the manifest. In the contribution section, we, contract, we correctly indicate the two functions we have written, the unique identifier, the name, and the name of the function. Then we specify that these two functions are widgets by indicating them in the widget section. We write the name of the command and the name to be displayed to the user. In the exercise three, we indicate the name of the two functions written in the init.py script. In exercise four, we indicate the patent packages useful for running the code we have integrated. These packages are indicated in the install request section. When the exercise four is finished, you can make a small demo of your plugin. When the plugin is working well, you can add a few tests to each widget to see if the widget works when a modification has been made to the code. It is the topic of exercise five. This test indicates that the plugin is working properly. Here we add a test for each widget. In this session, the tests below are simply educational. Let's suppose a user changes our code about freehold, we add a test to check if output is an MP array and binary. We create a RGB image randomly. We establish our function by highlighting the argument and the argument keys, which are argument of magic GUI decorator. And we run a test to check if output is an MP array and binary. About leaf area, we add test to check if leaf area is integer and positive. You can run the test after install by test locally. And run the test with this command. In the exercise six, we add information relevant to the user to the readme document. The readme is important because it serves as a basis of information and use for the other users. Now the plugin is working properly. We can now do the last exercise, the exercise five. In this exercise, we add a third free holding method to our plugin, the yen method. To do this, go to the widget.py script. We have three things to do. First, we add the yen filter to the filter to be selected in the magic factory decorator. Next, we create another condition to add the yen filter. Finally, don't forget to input the yen filter function. So this video is over. To conclude, we have learned how to do four things. Install Napari, getting started with a Napari plugin, create a plugin, create and develop a widget. So thank you for your attention.